everyone, this is Jackie Cooper. I am with J. Cooper Travels, but I also have uh, created a new podcast that's called Cooper Virtual Career Day. And the purpose of this podcast is to actually um, allow you elementary, middle, and high school students information about um, different career paths that you can take um, throughout your life. And I've been interviewing different people and I wanna introduce you today to Paul Hempel. He actually has a book that I'll show you called uh, Inspiration for Teens. And uh, Paul, thank you so much for being here. I know you've done a variety of things in your life. Um, I don't know which one you want to talk about today, but we appreciate your being on the Career Podcast. So how are you doing? I'm doing just great. Thank you very much for having me. Sure. So which uh, career or opportunity do you want to talk about so that way um, those listening can learn um, about another thing that they can consider on uh, their career option list? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'd like to talk about being an author. Oh, great. Now, bef now, before kids start shying away from uh, author, I, I hate writing. Uh, let me give you a little background as, as to how I, I became a writer. Uh, I went through a childhood that was somewhat emotionally abusive. And uh, when I got to the point where I felt that I couldn't accomplish or do anything right, that I really wasn't, uh, in other words, my ego was shot. I had no self-esteem whatsoever when I was a young person. And then it dawned on me one day, and, and nobody told me this. Somehow or another, I, I had this flash of inspiration from somewhere. And what it was was that I thought if there was something that I could control, what what is it that I could control that I could become good at? And the conclusion I came to was the English language. In other words, if, if, I could, if I could understand words and sentence structure and be able to speak intelligently, then I would sound intelligent and then people would, would look up to me as opposed to looking down at me. And I guess the inspiration did come as I think about it when I was watching Burt Lancaster movies. If you ever, if, if, if Burt Lancaster isn't known to too many people, but this was the guy who uh, grew up in poverty, became an actor, and someone told him that if he would pronounce his words with real, I mean, really bite into his words, and uh, it, he would sound so intelligent that people would really look up to him. And, and he said, I never went to college, I, I just went to high school. And everybody thought I was the smartest actor in Hollywood because, because of the way I spoke. And I thought to myself, yes, I, I can command, I can control how the spoken word is used uh, in any way I want to. And so uh, when I got into college and got exposed to Aristotle, I had a college professor who spent an entire semester on one page of Aristotle. And the reason why I spent the whole semester on one page is because um, 2,000 years ago, uh, Staples wasn't around. You, you, uh, there were no barrels of ink available that you could tap into. You had this, what they call parchment paper, which was made of rice and whatever else they put into it. And when, you, when the Greeks wrote anything down on parchment, they had to be careful to choose their words very carefully because there wasn't a lot of paper, a lot of parchment around. So, and I can still remember the first line of, of this page, believe it or not. It, 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 the line goes, all men by nature desire to know. And I think we probably spent a, a week on that particular statement. What, what does each word mean? Why did he write these words? And what did they mean in the context of his times? What does it mean in the context of our times? And so what it did was it, it gave me a signal as to how I could write if I were going to be writing anything. Long story short, I, I looked for some authors, some writers who wanted to write uh, a blurb for my book. And one author who's the country's leading expert 
on the Lincoln assassination, wrote a review of my book, and he said to me, he said, you know, I can write anything in 4,000 words, but to do it in 400 words takes real talent. <laughs> I thought, wow, thank you very much, Aristotle. And so I knew that I could control uh, how I use the English language, and I don't have to answer to anybody. And teenagers uh, like to hear uh, that, that I, they don't have to answer to anybody but themselves. But always remember that uh, when I write anything, I do have editors. I, you know, I'm not a perfect writer. Uh, I can make mistakes in grammar like anybody else, and so I have editors who uh, will call me on the phone and for 15 or 20 minutes tell me why the sentence I just wrote on page you know, 14 uh, needs to be restructured. And then I might argue with the guy who's the editor who's calling me, and that's okay because I learn all the time, constantly. And um, I don't know if, if any of this is making any sense or not, but uh, I, I would suggest to young people, especially anybody that, that grew up the way I did and has a poor self-image, to be aware that there is something that you can control very easily and master. And I always like to say to, to my students, and I worked with high school students for 19 years, I always told them, if you master the English language, uh, and that's all you do. Uh, employers will beat a path to your door because employers need to have people working for them who understand how to use English, the English language, so they can communicate with their customers. It's, it sounds very elementary, uh, but I, I will tell you that American business does, is not impressed with what's coming out of our colleges these days. And when you have uh, colleges who Tell, who tell us that 10% of the students they admit to our best colleges have to go and take a remedial reading course and writing course, you know there's, 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 there's something wrong. So uh, words to the wise, master the English language, and uh, you'll be way ahead, way ahead of, your, of your contemporaries. So thank you so much, Paul, for those words of wisdom. And for those that are listening, um, one of the things that you can think of as a possible career option for you is being an author. Um, and as Paul mentioned, um, the foundation of that is understanding the, the nature of the English language. Uh, but it can, um, it can benefit you in more ways than just being an author because you'll be able to use it when you are um, writing letters or doing things for whether you work for someone else or we, whether you're in your own business. So that's one of the quick takeaways from today. And we appreciate your being here. Thank you so much, Paul, for your, um, your guidance. I know that you have been involved in so many different projects and I appreciate your time here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it.